Hello YouTube, my name is Pankaj Thakur and you are watching Panky Music channel. Thank you so much for visiting my channel once again. So today I am going to demonstrate how you can create a heavy sub bass which uh, will make your song really good uh, sound on all the devices. For instance, if you don't have a really good sub bass uh, uh, playing along with your kick, so your song will sound good on the devices which are made for the uh, base purposes or maybe you know really uh, high-end devices but if you are playing your song on a maybe a mobile device or maybe in your earbuds or headphones uh, it might not sound really good so that's the purpose of this video I'm going to show you how you can create a really good uh, sub bass uh, using a free plugin which comes with Ableton Live Suite so you don't have to purchase any third-party plugins so without wasting further time let's get quickly started so I have two blank tracks as you can see uh, there's nothing on that so first I will uh, make um, a basic kick pattern uh, for eight bars and then uh, I will try to uh, make some kind of a groove of a loop um, then we will create this sub bass and we will see what is the difference so uh, I will go to my sample library here and I have uh, a couple of samples so before that I want to go to my instruments and uh, use my drum rack it is convenient to use drum rack when you are playing with multiple samples or you want to create a really good groove so uh, now I can go to my samples and oops go to my library and select a kick which I like so this looks okay to me because it has a low end and uh, uh, the transients are also uh, not very high so now once we have that I'm going to create a MIDI track by selecting this area or Control shift M on my keyboard and I will also loop it by Control L so this is pretty basic now right click here go to 116 and draw this kick and now I can copy this whole thing and control D now I have um, a kick playing eight times so it sounds like this okay so this is pretty basic nothing exciting about it but we want to make it exciting right so on my second uh, MIDI track I'm going to use uh, a pre uh, a pre built loop or maybe some patch from a third party VST so I'll go to my plugins and I know this uh, Hive plugin which comes from US UHE it is absolutely mind-blowing it has 2700 plus uh, free sounds available I also created a video for this so if you haven't checked that go check out on my channel you can even download it from that I have given the uh, link in the description of that video so I will drag and drop it on my MIDI track and uh, before that let's create this MIDI clip because we need that for sure so control shift M once again now I have this MIDI clip I can go to my hive go to my preset library and choose some loops which are already defined or already built in this plugin so uh, loops here I will play so for this video uh, for the demonstration purposes I will use the key of G so if I play key of G uh, G note on my MIDI keyboard it sounds like this So this looks okay. Okay, this sounds really good to me. So I will just close it and go to my MIDI clip. Search for the key of G. And drag and drop it till the complete bar. So now if I play these two things it will sound like this okay so we have something to play with now it sounds not uh, really amazing but yes uh, we can make it more interesting just for the purpose uh, you know uh, of uh, how this sub uh, bass will affect so uh, now let's add a MIDI track and after that I'm going to record enable it and go to my instruments uh, search for the operator so this comes for free drag and drop it on the MIDI track and let's create a MIDI clip control shift M once again now since we are in the key of G let's 
draw something in the key of G so that's pretty important always make sure that you following the scale where you are so this is G uh, I will just drag it for the whole loop and control D four times okay so now we have something like this so let's turn off this loop so if you are not using your earphones or your headphones you might not able to hear this sound I would recommend that you use some uh, earplugs or uh, headphones so that you can uh, you know, uh, make the uh, just the difference between the sub bass with the sub bass and without sub bass so how the track will sound like now we have to uh, make it more interesting so this is pretty basic nothing uh, interesting about it so how we'll make it interesting uh, first of all in the sub bass we are going to make sure that we are in the lower octaves of the key so that now uh, we don't uh, get those higher frequencies so I will select all uh, shift down arrow on my keyboard and I will come one octave down and this is G0 so it, it will sound like this so this sounds little bit okay to me and now I will go to operator and make some changes so first of all uh, when you drag and drop uh, operator it comes with a sine wave so we don't want that because this is the mistake which a lot of people do they use the sine wave but sine waves do not have a lot of harmonics and we want that uh, now high harmonic so that our track may be uh, using these you know, broad uh, frequencies and it will sound even on all the devices so uh, go to this list and select the triangle okay now we'll use these two oscillators uh, on the left side so uh, on the second oscillators as well I'm going to select the triangle wave now let's uh, increase this level uh, to one octave so this sounds weird but we are going to make it um, interesting so click on this option here and select this so that they do not interrupt each other Okay, now come here, enable this glide option. Now you hear that heavy sub bass, it will you know hit directly on the chest if you are playing on the big DJ speakers or woofer speakers. But one thing uh, to be noted here, it is uh, still having some of the higher harmonics, so we don't want that. So we'll go to audio effects, and this is a really cool trick which not a lot of people do, but I'm going to show you how to do that so we have multiband dynamics drag and drop it here and we want to use this low option just solo that and see the difference without it with with multiband dynamics low as a solo track so you hear the difference right now what we want to do is we want to put a side chain which is very very important because our sub bass is conflicting with our kick so for side chain either you can use compressor I will show you both the ways so normally we use compressors and uh, put it here and uh, enable this option side chain input and we want to side chain with a drum rack now if I drop this down Now you can hear the difference right so now we have side chained this and if I play everything together it will sound like this slow down the volume a little bit. So if I disable my uh, sub bass it will sound pretty basic like this let's enable You know why we need this sub bass it fills the low ends it, it gives the soul to your song now um, uh, this was the uh, one option which you can use for the uh, sidechain compression but I'm going to use a different option which is again very cool and it is very convenient you don't have to go through all these options so I will delete this I have a plugin called kickstart from Nicky Romero and uh, this is pretty amazing you just have to drag and drop it 
uh, kick start and boom you are done with the side chain now so you can see this portion is already ducked when my kick is playing so I have different presets I can play along and done so uh, I can assure you if you create your sub bass really good uh, using just the operator your song will have a different level it will sound really amazing and all the devices even on the cheap headphones or cheap earbuds so uh, this was the small demonstration how you can create a really good sub bass using the free plugin operator in Ableton Live so thank you so much guys for watching this video I hope you liked it and um, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up uh, you can subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that uh, bell icon so that you never miss any updates so uh, thank you so much uh, for watching once again and I take you leave now. I'll be back again with another videos very soon. So till then take care of yourself. Goodbye.